What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch here with Dilly Vanilli himself. We are here to preview the Carolina Panthers. Keep pounding in 2019. Cam Newton is back and healthy and throwing in training camp. Christian McCaffrey's added some muscle. Greg Olson should be back and healthy. And this team improved, at least on paper, throughout the offseason. There is a lot to discuss when it comes to the Carolina Panthers because they were a very interesting team in 2017. They had, or 2018, they had a lot of injuries. They had a lot going on in terms of the beginning of the season. They were fantastic. They fell off at a certain point when Cam Newton got injured against the Steelers, and then it all kind of fell off from there. They're within a very difficult division with at least two other teams that we feel are very talented and have playoff aspirations in 2019. Can the Panthers and Cam Newton and basically this entire football team get back to the playoffs in 2019? That is the question because really, I think one person who's running out on time is Ron Rivera in terms of impressing the ownership in terms of impressing this fan base and having and putting this team in a position to win a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So, Dilly Vanilli. Yes, sir. Very difficult division. You got the Saints. You got Atlanta. What's your expectations for Carolina in 2019? I'm liking this team. I'm, I'm really liking what they've, they're bringing to the table here. And the this division has two the two most underrated teams in the NFL. If you go back to my video, I had – both them and the Falcons as for two most underrated teams. So this is a very difficult division for me to analyze and give you what I think about it, but I will do my best here. Receiver wise, they did lose Devin Funches, but they have DJ Moore, who I think is going to step up into a better role this year. I think Curtis Samuel I had as one of my more underrated receivers in the game. I hope they use him more. It's all about that offensive scheme that Norv Turner brings, which I think is one of the best things about this team, one of the best things that they can use going into 2019 to pick up some nice victories. Offensive line, pretty good. I really like the signing of Matt Paredes, one of my favorite uh, free agency signings this year. Uh, Greg Olson, he's old. He has had a lot of injury concerns, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, Ian Thomas is a, is a fine uh, backup tight end, though. Cam Newton, when this guy is healthy, that's the biggest thing. We, we've talked about his injury concerns, but when he is healthy, he's on. He is absolutely fire. Last season, he had a great start to the year. The first half of the year, his numbers were really, really good and helping this team get to a 6-2 and two record. And Chris Honestly, Mike, an MVP candidate. Like, if everybody oh, yeah. was talking about Patrick Mahomes, like, Cam Newton was in the discussion. Yeah, absolutely. He, he was putting up numbers that we were looking at from his 2015 season. We're like, wow, this is good stuff here. Christian McCaffrey, over 100 receptions, one of the best pure, like, out running backs. I have him as the number three fantasy player in the game right now. So – that, that's saying something for this team. Defensively, there are going to be a lot of stuff on that defensive line. If you have Don Terry Poe, Gerald McCoy, and Kawan Short all there in that defensive line, like what are you going to do? How are they going to mix that up together? I think that's going to be interesting. Bruce Servan is there as well. Brian Burns, I don't know how much of an impact he's going to make here in year one, but I still think he's going to do well. Of course, you got Luke Keekley, one of the best middle linebackers, if not the best middle linebacker in the game. There's still a couple of people there. Um, and then you got their secondary, which I think is quite underrated. Eric Reed had a great 2018 campaign, all things considered. Rashawn Golden, Dante Jackson, really good stuff here. I like what the Panthers bring. They've got a lot of great talent. As long as everybody is healthy, this is going to be a team to look forward to. They were 6-2 and two and then just fell off after that. I do not expect that if Cam is healthy. Uh, all the signs from 2018 point to having a great 2019 season for the Panthers. All right. I'm, I'm glad we're on the same lines here because I believe in the Panthers as well. I actually am going to say it right now. I am picking the Panthers to make the playoffs. I have them at 10 and 6. So that's my Carolina Panthers for 2019. But looking at the roster and telling you why, because I know there's some people out there that don't believe in this team. I think some people think they'll be as bad as 6 and 10. I think there's some people who would expect an 8 and 8 season from the Panthers or maybe higher on other teams in this division. But mm -hmm. when I look at the Panthers, I think a lot of pieces are in place for them to be a very good football team. First off, they have the best offensive line that Cam Newton on paper has possibly had in his career. And that is huge because Cam Newton 
one, rarely has time, and two, he's Cam Newton, so he runs the ball, and that's important for him. And then the third thing is he's injured, and how do you get less banged up by having protection along your offensive line? So Matt Paredes is the center, which I think is an upgrade even from the great Khalil, who's now retired. And Trey Turner is a beast at right guard. Taylor Moten had a very good season at left tackle last year, and this is one of the biggest pickups they possibly had, which wasn't really a pickup. They re-signed Daryl Williams, who was a second-team All-Pro in 2017. He was injured all of last year and wasn't able to play. He is their right tackle, so that was huge that they got him back. One thing I watched all or nothing, or I'm in the process of watching it right now, very good series so far. By the way, you see a lot of the inter- twinings of the team kind of like in the locker room and the relationships and stuff, especially Cam and Greg Olson and some of the stuff and Luke Keekley. Greg Olson, that's the biggest thing that stuck out to me was his impact on this team, not from a leadership standpoint, but also from just being on the field and how much confidence it brings this team. Greg Olson at the beginning of last year, even with that broken foot, actually played pretty well. And if he can be healthy, I understand he is older, but even if he's healthy for 16 games or on the field consistently, he's a presence that's very comfortable comfortable for Cam Newton and this entire team. And he brings an aspect to the team that they sorely miss. Now, Christian McCaffrey is obviously going to be one of the best running backs in the game. And he's going to have a ton of touches because you look behind them, and this is the concerning part. If Christian McCaffrey does get injured or banged up or has to leave a game at any point, what are they going to do in that situation? Is Cameron Artis Payne really the answer there? Is one of these guys going to step up? Because that is a possibility. Now, I'm not counting on him getting injured, but I'm just saying that depth, they could use a backup there. Uh, DJ Moore or Curtis Samuel, one of them will break out. I am quite positive about that. I do like the additions of veterans, Torrey Smith and Chris Hogan, just as backups and role players. Uh, Torrey Smith played there last year. And Chris Hogan is coming in from New England. I just think we'll help from a winning perspective. You know, Hogan, I don't think is a great receiver by any means, but he is a great locker room presence and pretty good as a third option overall. Then we look at the defense. You brought up the defensive line, which is the biggest reason why I'm high on this defense going into 2019. Obviously, Don Terry Poe, Jarrell McCoy, uh, Quan Short. They have these three in the interior. Quan Short is a beast. Hopefully he can get back to more of a 2017 form than a 2018. I feel like he regressed a little bit. Brian Burns, Mario Addison, and Bruce Irvin is going to be an awesome trio. And I'm intrigued to see what they do on like third down pass rushing situations. Are they going to have Addison and Burns out there? Are they going to have Addison and Irvin out there? Are they going to move one of them inside? Are they going to have Short and McCoy? Like how are they going to mix and match that? And that's just promising because we really love having great defensive line depth. That's a huge part of success in today's NFL. Obviously, Luke Keekley. Can they get something extra out of Shaq Thompson? Good player, but hasn't really lived up to his first round grade so far. Eric Reed, I'm very happy that he's back because he was great for them last year when he played. The biggest question for me on this entire team, Dylan, mm -hmm. They're corners. Okay. James Bradbury is solid, but can he get any better? Dante Jackson's the X factor. He's the X factor. The X factor. He was a second round pick last year. Played okay, you know, for a rookie. Met expectations. But can he elevate in his second season? Can he take that sophomore jump? So we'll see about that. I think the Panthers are a very good football team. They have good coaching. Norv Turner, Ron Rivera. Also, Ron Rivera is taking more in terms of he's – I think he's calling the defensive plays again this year. So that's huge because he took over like late last season, I do believe. Mm -hmm. So I like the coaching. I like the quarterback as long as he's on the field. I like the defensive improvements. I like the offensive line. That's a core of a team that I do believe is a playoff team in 2019. Dylan, anything to add? Well, I'll give you my uh, record and prediction here at 10 and 6. There we go again. Uh, oh, call me, bro. Bro, bro, if you let me go first, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, 10 and 6, which is good for the sixth seed in the playoffs, in my opinion. Again, a very loaded conference. There are some teams out there with the same record that didn't get it because on tiebreakers that I had in my records and stuff like that. But I'm really looking forward to what this team brings here. 
if health is there for everybody, this team is going to stand out. Defense is great. Offense is outstanding. Um, receivers want to see a guy step up, but otherwise, I think this is a team that I'm, I'm very much looking forward to uh, and seeing that they can finish what they weren't able to do in 2018. All right, guys, that's our predictions. We're pretty high on the Panthers, which I do feel like there's going to be some that aren't so high. Haters, let us know in the comment section below. Fan, <laughs> give us some love because I know there's going to be a lot of these videos where we don't get the love. Gronk swipe the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's Mitch and Dilly. Thanks for watching the Panthers 2019 preview. Peace out. Peace.